Good morning guys, welcome to my Wednesday. I am still in Paris and we woke up early this morning and we're coming for a little bit of an adventure. We're gonna locate some breakfast first. It's a pretty miserable day, I'm not gonna lie. It's very gray, it's been raining overnight. Kind of gutted that we didn't have any time yesterday when the sun was out to explore. But we're gonna walk down to the river and see what we can see. Having a little French breakfast with a pan au chocolat and um, a coffee and an orange juice. Actually. FYI as well, this is proper orange juice and I needed it this morning. I'm still feeling a little bit weird with the times difference, but um, orange juice is gonna sort it all out. So even when it is gray and cloudy, Paris is still pretty epic. Um, we're just walking along the river and seeing all the sights. So we're just walking past the Musée d'Orsay and I think we're gonna head up and see the Louvre and maybe get as far as Notre Dame, so I'll show you all the sights along the way, even though it's kind of miserable and rainy, still beautiful. I'm on the Lover's Bridge right now with all the padlocks and we were just talking about, I reckon they clear them every couple of years. If you guys know, let me know in the comments like how often they get rid of the padlocks because I heard a couple of times that, that like the bridge gets so heavy they have to like cut them off and throw them away so that it doesn't collapse. But And most of the dates are like, there's a lot of 2015, some 2013, can't see any older than that, so they must clear them like maybe every two years. The next stop on our very rapid walking tour of Paris is the Louvre, and we actually don't have time to go in because um, the train is in like an hour and a half, so we're gonna start walking back, maybe up like through instead of along the river, so we see a few different things. But yes, there is behind there, if you can see behind the arches, is the famous. I don't even know what it's called, the triangle, the big glass triangle of the Louvre. Anyone know? My Paris knowledge is limited. Kind of loving that this statue is doing Pilates naked in the middle of the park right now. Do any of you do Pilates and do this move where you have to put the bottom leg like goes up to meet the top leg? It's really hard. She's struggling right there. Our little route back to the hotel took us past Angelina and it would be rude not to get a hot chocolate because they make the most intense hot chocolate in the world. It's actually really, really hot and they give you a straw, which I think is kind of dangerous, but it's basically like pure chocolate with cream and it is the most delicious thing in the world. If you guys are ever in Paris, go and get one and share it because they are intensely strong and delicious and you probably shouldn't have a whole one. <laughs> They're like, it's literally like liquid chocolate. Hello guys. So it's, been a, it's been a bit of a busy, a busy day to be honest. Um, when I last saw you I was in Paris. I then got the Eurostar back and had a couple of meetings, a phone interview, and I'm now, bizarrely, having a Christmas dinner with an elf hat on that has my name on it, overlooking London. Let's No, no, no. Laura and I are retraining to be elves. That's Basically, we're at elf training school. It's not anything to do with the body shop and their Christmas. No, no, no. It's, it's all about, we're becoming elves. It's our new vocation. Basically, that's what's happening. Um, apparently, we're going to have a Christmas dinner. Some people may say, October is too early for Christmas festivities. I say no. I say no. There's, there's, there's sweets, there's crackers, there's hats. And I believe Christmas dinner. Christmas dinner. Christmas dinner. Christmas dinner. Christmas dinner. <laughs> it's brilliant. So it's not Christmas dinner, but it's even better. Some kind of delicious looking Christmas pastry, delicious tastiness. Yes. OMG guys, we're here. Christmas in October is happening. Uh, hello, Christmas time. So I'm sitting here next to Rose, one of my favorite people. And Rhea's is here as well. Haha, -ha. we got set up for a second. She's sitting right up there. But we'll catch up with her at the end. We're very excited. And I'm going to be super embarrassing. For my <laughs> I just got back to the flat. I had such a hilarious evening hanging out with Becky. Um, there were lots of other really nice bloggers there as well who genuinely, it was just such a lovely group. There's Ree from Really Re, who I really get on with, who was in the vlog a second ago. Rose from Mixed Gems. Koshal was also there, who's really, really sweet. Um, who else was there? Holly, Becky's sister, was there. And Gabby from Velvet Ghost. And it was just, it was a really lovely evening with Body Shop team. Super fun, and Elf is hilarious. If you guys are thinking of going to watch Elf the Musical, um, I would probably recommend going a little bit closer to Christmas. <laughs> um, but it's really amazing, and it just, it was quite magical at the end, and it's got me super excited for Christmas. I wanted to also show you guys what I got when I, before I left Paris, which I forgot to vlog. Dun, da, da, da. I did not forget to get a fridge magnet, and this is probably the tackiest one so far. I'm loving it. My fridge magnet collection is growing 
very nicely. Um, I've got some editing to do now because I haven't actually uploaded my vlogs in like two days because the internet in Paris was so bad last night. You couldn't even stream anything, let alone upload anything. It was like the worst internet in the world. And yes, that is what is happening. I'm gonna put my PJs on and get editing and ring Mike because I miss him a lot. Finally streaming the first episode of Scream Queens, which I'm loving so far. It's hilarious. I'm um, very excited that I've actually managed to watch that because we tried to watch it last night and the internet was so bad that we couldn't watch it. I also just had possibly the cutest Snapchat in the entire world from Mike and Spike and Luca. Oh my god, it was just so cute. It's actually a private one so you guys can't see it, but it was probably the cutest thing ever. And oh, I miss them. They're just the cutest little kids ever. Um, and what else has happened? I... Mike wasn't picking up his phone, his phone was going straight to answer phone, I was like, oh, that's so annoying, I haven't spoken to him all day, I really want to speak to him, it's like half eleven. So I was like texting him, being like, can you ring me, because sometimes his phone is not very good. Um, like, goes straight to answer phone, even though he's got signal. And he'll like ring me straight back, being like, I'm on my phone, it definitely didn't ring. But anyway, so I went on his Snapchat, and he is at the cinema watching the new James Bond without me, and I'm not very impressed. I want to go and see it, so I'm hoping it's really good and he'll want to see it again. Um, so yeah, oh my god, I'm watching Four On Demand right now um, to watch Scream Queens. And there, it's, there's like ten adverts. There's a lot of adverts. Cray cray. Um, anyway, that is it for tonight guys. I'm going to say good night and see you all tomorrow. Goodbye. Hey guys, and welcome to Paris. I actually didn't vlog coming.